<laughs> bringing a lot of energy. No, so here's as Eric and Lou just noticed, I'm having like my own internal dialogue, <laughs> as yeah. as you'll understand, because I'm so excited about our first guest this morning. Now you know him from his work on the big and small screen, including The X Files and Californication. He's also a director, musician, and a New York Times bestselling author. Joining us to talk about his brand new book is David Duchovny. Good morning, David. Good morning. What's what's your internal dialogue? I'm so so here's so here's the thing, David. I'm so glad you asked because before we do these Skype setups, we usually have our girl Monica set us up to make sure the connection's okay. And she said, David, this is Lawrence. Lawrence, this is David. And I moved in and I went, hi. <laughs> and I got nervous and I got uncomfortable. And you are just so handsome. So you have to promise me. In our next lifetime, with the X Files reboot, you and I have something going on. Please, I have, I have your line already. It's it, it wrote itself. We got the scene. I just I just thought you were being very cool. I didn't I didn't think it's no. Know, that's like, that's me hey. having that's me having hey. absolutely no game. <laughs> but yeah. but speaking of game, you do everything. You write. You act. You musician. And so here's my question then. With all the books, from the, the novellas to the poetry, what made you dip your toe into writing a book called Reservoir, mm -hmm. and it's a rom-com with a twist? Yeah, well, I mean, I was writing uh, a couple years ago. I was in New York, and I had this uh, amazing view that kept me sane of the reservoir, and I would take these time-lapse photos of sunrises over it. And I just started conceive to conceive of a character who in his loneliness sees these flash, there it is, sees flashing lights across there on Fifth Avenue and thinks that it's like a Morse code of a damsel in distress trying to reach him. So it turned into this, this kind of rear window in the pandemic along with like uh, Death in Venice, um, which is one of my favorite novellas of all time, which takes place in a play gear. Um, so it, th all those factors kind of came together to inspire me to, to see if there was a story there and the reservoir was the result. So let me ask you this, from the initial concept to, hey, rom-com, twisted, how long did it take <laughs> to go from the concept to the final product? Not long. I, I, I thought it was a short story, so I, I got on it quick, and I, I, I probably finished the, the bulk of it in about two or three weeks. I mean, if I, when I have an idea, I don't have lots of ideas, but when I have an idea, I tend to, to go at it fast. I have a lot of ideas. And, you know, as we <laughs> mentioned, you know, the book comes out tomorrow and you're going to have a book scene at the Grove. What does that yeah. feel like for you to be out again with people, especially with what's been going on? Um, you know, it's all it's all kind of new again. Uh, we, 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 we get so used to, you know, Zooming and Skyping like this and everything. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to just be in a room full of people. I've been thinking recently about how it just changes the way we communicate. You know, we communicate through screens. It's a cliche, but, you know, it is different when you're, when you're live and breathing in a room. I um, just want to remind you that, to, you know, there is the book signing. I will be there, and I will be <laughs> holding up signs. <laughs> so, but when you're not writing, you're acting, and you're... Netflix uh, project, The Bubble just dropped, uh, Judd Apatow yeah. film. So what was it like working with the Apatow clan? Yeah, it was the clan because uh, we had a, 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 a daughter, wife, uh, everybody. It was the, it was, it was the clan. Uh, great. I mean, Judd actually does make it kind of like a family affair, not just uh, with, with his family, but just, you know, it was an ensemble cast. And, and uh, we were locked out in London about a year ago. And... Uh, I just had a great time finally working with Judd after knowing him for so long and ha having worked on Larry Sanders with Gary Shandling years ago with Judd when we were both so so little. Um, it was it was a nice kind of a life experience aside from a shooting experience for me to to get to work with Judd after so long. You know the pandemic really made anything could happen. So let me ask you this: throughout the last couple of years, what have you learned the most about yourself that surprised you? Uh, uh, two things, you know, everybody's learning about, you know, oh, I'm, I love knitting. I took up knitting and I love, I love knitting. And, uh, so I took up cooking and, uh, I don't love it. <laughs> I love Good it. for you. Good for you. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not good at it. 
and I'm not good at it. So all right. So you have to well, you know what you could be good at is following me on Instagram. <laughs> I got to say, David, I'm a huge fan. The Reservoir comes out tomorrow, mm. but you can get a signed copy from David himself tonight at Barnes and Noble at the Grove at 7 p.m. Reservoir is available for pre-sale now at DavidDuchovny.com.